previously on 7 in 7, the boys had an adrenaline fueled day in Innsbruck and got a little bit scared. Day 5 started with a 20 minute drive out of the city to Axum Elitsum, a favourite ski resort among Innsbruck's weekend warriors. Axmalitsum is a small purpose-built resort which hosted many of the alpine skiing events for the 1964 and 76 Winter Olympics. As we only had a morning to explore the resort, we enlisted the help of local pro skier Andy Nietzsche and spur art owner and madman Mickey Freeman to show us around. It's a rain, just have a look outside. It's like all, all the couloirs and all this, like easy accessible. It's good. Don't come, there are too many skiers then. Uh, it's a uh, great rock, see outside it's almost like Dolomites in Italy. We have these rocks and also great faces. And yeah, it's only a 15 minute drive to my home place, so you can get up there pretty early, get some nice turns and then go back to university. We knew that Mickey, on his handmade wooden skis, and Amplit skier Andy were going to be fast. But we weren't prepared for how fast they would be. And gave me your heart. With you I would fly in a special place Cruising the sky and out to space And then karma police shot me down Stealing you without making a sound I think of us even today but losing you was the price I had to pay Uh, I've tight and dark, need to get my mind loose Have a little dip, slip into the right mood The night's new, rhyme still the type to Stride till it's getting light, smile and surprise you I might do, I might do Looking for trouble, love might find you I might do, maybe I like you I hung out with Andy Nietzsche, pro rider from Amplin And it was awesome he uh, took us down. Took us down some, well, crazy stuff for me. How was it for you? Uh, it was alright. It was alright. It was. Uh, could have done with maybe a little bit fresher snow for the for the landings. Not quite so crusty, but uh, it was still very good. Absolutely hooned down the pistes, which is fun. No, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Following two pro riders was a bit nerve wracking. I didn't want to stack it. You know, I'm not pro, right? Next on our schedule was an hour long drive to the Zillatel, probably the Tyrol's best known skiing valley. We'd been invited up to an old farmhouse high above the valley floor called the Backyard for a traditional Argentine asado. That's a barbecue. I've tried and dark, need to get my mind loose. Have a little dip, slip into the right mood. The night's new, rhyme still the type to stride till it's getting light, smile and surprise you. I might do. Looking for trouble, love might find you. I might do, maybe so get light. What's the what's the vibe of this place? Uh, what what happens? Um, basically, happens is uh, created a place that is like different to a lot of other places, and different to a lot of other hotels and pensions where people have expensive prices and uh, basically just a, a big industry. It's, we try to keep the soul alive here and uh, just uh, people coming who want to ride, who want to go in the mountain, go straight and just enjoy in the evening. It's not crazy party, but chill in the hot to have a barbecue, have some music, have a party. Yeah. Like uh, private, private stays and yeah. It's a good vibe, right? Just a few beers after riding, <laughs> relaxing in the hot tub, looking over the valley. Pretty much. That's the life. <laughs> yeah, cheers to that. <laughs> cheers. I'll get warm. Ooh. Is there a ladder on me? Sorry. Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that's hot. It's, it's completely unlike staying in a big resort where there's people hustling and bustling around, the bars are full, there's noise, which is cool, but if you just want to hang out, 
have a few beers, you're away from everything, sit in a hot tub, have some barbecue, it's awesome. And then you can get to the resorts, you can skin up the mountain, it's, uh, it's so chilled. I reckon it's quite unique for an Austrian place because a lot of places you stay in Austria, they're, you know, they're, they're good, definitely always good value, but um, here you trade off a bit of convenience, you're a bit away from the main town centre, but you know, I think it's a small price to pay given that you're in a place that is really unique and uh, you know, I think for anyone that spends a weekend here or a week here, it's, it's definitely going to be more, more memorable than your standard uh, cookie cutter you know, three-star hotel or, or apartment, that's for sure. You certainly don't get a view like that. Barbie. Yeah, yeah. Get the barbecue. <laughs> um, yes. oh, by the way, yes. quickly, just quickly. Um, he didn't, Jürgen didn't tell you, you guys are dinner. He's just cooking you up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I suspected as much. That's what it feels like. Yeah. That good English beef, right? Yeah, noodle soup. Prost. 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 Oh, that's good. That's so good. That's good. I think Obst. Yeah. I think you bought it. <laughs> <laughs> the backyard is a truly magical place to spend some time. Hosts, Jürgen and No, have created a hostel style lodge that is homely, friendly, and incredibly relaxing. From the wood fired hot tub and sauna to the bits of old snowboard that Jürgen has lovingly upcycled into pieces of furniture and fittings, the backyard is about enjoying the simple things in life nature, friendship, and of course, schnapps. And it must be said, they do a pretty mean barbecue too. Next episode, we visit the Zillatel Arena, then head back to Innsbruck for the legendary Air and Style event.